let's send our AutoCAD subbasin data to GIS so we don't have to type it into DDMSW. I've written the steps in this blog post, so I'll rush through just so that you can see exactly how every step works. I've got a simple subbasin and time of concentration route drawn on layer 0 in AutoCAD. I'm going to create some layers and a lot of other things. I have some scripts that will make this really easy and I'll post them so that you can use them too. But first let's set up GIS coordinate systems for our drawing so that it will come in with some meaningful precipitation data in DDMSW. I'm going to use the AED set CRD sys command and I'm going to select Arizona Central State Plane Coordinates NAT 83 AZ 83 CIF. Then I'm going to use the GeoMap command with my Autodesk A360 subscription to move this thing into real coordinates. Looks like I've turned it on. If I zoom out, I start to see some maps, but my polylines are down at in the Gulf of California here, and so I'm going to move them up. And where I want to be is up in the Superstition Mountains. And I'll pause while I find exactly where I want them. Okay, I've found my place in the real world, and I'll turn off my geo map. The next thing I need to do is create my layers. I've got this script to create them all, and I'll run it using the script command. It's on my desktop under DDMSW and it's the layers script. And did it create them? It's created the layers with some nice pretty colors. And the next thing I will do is change all these polylines to layers one at a time. I'll pause while I do that. Okay, I've put everything on respective layers now, and I can turn them on one at a time. I've got my land layer, my rainfall layer, my sub-basin layer, my soil layer, and my TC layer. Now, I don't really have to use the land, soil, and TC layers. I only have to do the rainfall and sub-basin. And also, the land and soil layers are best to obtain from Maricopa County Flood Control, Eric Feldman, a GIS analyst. Apparently, you can get the soil and land use layers and then clip them out so that they just interface with your sub-basins and your, and your major basin, which is your rainfall layer. So let's now, if I click on one of these polylines, we'll start with the basic one, the rainfall. And I go to properties, there's no special data attached to it. So what I've got to do is use the ADE def data command and create some tables with some columns or fields in them. I create a rainfall table, I'll create a sub-basin table, I'll create a soil table, a land use table, and in those tables I'll have these fields that DDMS told us we have to have. If we go to DDMSW we can see that under required maps fields. It tells us what we got to have. That's just data we have to put on our polylines. So I'll go back to AutoCAD and we'll define the data. And I'll do that with the script that I've created. Script define data. So what it does is it doesn't add any information but it prepares the drawing so that if I say ADE def data now I've got a land use table, a rainfall table, a soil table, a subbasin table, and a TC table. And in the rainfall table, I've got 
the major basin ID, 01, and the rainfall data set ID. In the subbasin table, I'll have my subbasin area ID, subbasin 1, subbasin 2. My basin, major basin ID is 01, and my area square feet, which DDMSW will fill out and so on for all the tables and all the data that they want or the, at least the fields that they want. I didn't have to type any of that in. Now I need to say that this polyline that's on the rain layer has this data attached to it because even though I've defined it there's still nothing attached to this polyline. And to do that, I use the ADE attach data. And I pick a table and I say I want to attach it to objects. But I'm not going to do that because it's tedious. And I've done it and it's the same for everything. And so I've done attach data dot skr. And now when I click on this polyline and I go to properties, it's got a basin ID and it's got a rainfall ID. And we'll go to the subbasin, turn the rainfall off, turn the subbasin on. That is test 99. And it's in major basin 01 and DDMSW will fill out its area. Okay. The others we don't have to do, but I'm going to pause and find out what is a nice, good, valid soil ID and land use ID. I'll go to the layer properties, turn off the rain, turn on the land, pick the land use, and fill out its. Uh, we'll put for land use 110. We'll turn off the land use, we'll turn on the soil, and go to properties. There it is, soil lid is 6451. Alright, so the only thing that we're missing is the time of concentration. And that's this. We can fill in the area ID but DDMSW will do that. It'll do the basin ID. It'll do the length. All we got to do is the upstream elevation, and I'll just put 2936, and the downstream elevation, 2458. Make it up. And that should be all we need. Now all we need to do is export our shape files, and we'll export them one at a time. I'll turn on the rainfall layer and turn off all the others and I'll issue the map export command. And we'll start with only the land and the soil, which is the minimum that T, uh, DIDMSW needs to run. I'm going to my desktop and I've got a DDMSW directory. And we're going to export so I will just put it here and I'll call it rainfall. ESRI shape file. We want to export it as a polygon. We want to select it manually. We that's good for this tab. We want to select our attributes under object data we want to select rainfall and then under options we want to treat our polylines as polygons say OK and it should have done it and we'll just do the same thing for only subbasin we'll map export we'll create Subbasin dot shp. We'll do polygons. Pick them manually. Choose the data we want. 
which is the subbasin data, and treat them as polygons. Then. Now we can go to DDMSW and see if this all worked. If we're lucky, it did. We'll add a project, a hydrology and hydraulics project, standard, and we'll call it AutoCAD test. Okay, we'll save it and we go to Maps, Update Hydrology, Sub Basins. We go to the desktop, look in our DDMSW, and sure enough, we see a subbasin. It says we can right click to view the data, and look at that, it does show that it has the data. That's reassuring. Now we save it, we update, and hopefully, we don't get any errors. Hopefully we'll see a little map up here. We got a map and it said up complete. That's a beautiful site. Now we go to hydrology, rainfall IDs. What kind of source do you want? We want GIS. Save that. And then we can go to hydrology rainfall. And it's going to let us pick GIS from our desktop DDMSW directory we can pick rainfall this time it doesn't let us look at our fields we save we update and we should get a little map and then we should get rainfall data without having to look up a map which is actually the most useful thing so that's it thank you for watching from there on out, it's all the same drill for the land use TC and, and soils data.